yo, Ian Gary, I mean, sorry, Ian Machado Gary has to miss on that press conference. He is not going to hear the end of it. With Colby Covington there, maybe even Leon Edwards shows a bit of personality out there and goes at him as well. I mean, they both have a little bit of a thing with each other because of the whole gym situation. Because Ian Machado Gary allegedly got kicked out of the gym from Leon Edwards. Everybody knows about that story. Well, you guys probably all heard about the, uh, the whole relationship situation between Ian Machado Gary, his wife, the whole ex-husband thing. Well, apparently... It looks like the ex-husband never lived with them. That's what Ian Machado Gary's wife came out and said. She said the book, How to Be a Wag, was a joke. It wasn't to be taken seriously. And there were some people who actually read it and said, yeah, it does sound like satire. I haven't read it, so I can't confirm it myself. And here's the thing. Nobody is lying blatantly about this. Nobody's trying to make things up. Could some of the details be taken out of context? Possibly, yes. All this information that's coming out is coming out from Ian Machado Gary and his wife. These are the two that are bringing all of this out. The only reason we know about the book is because his wife has a published book on Amazon there for everybody to see. The only reason we know the story about him wanting to fight with Hamzat is because Ian Machado Gary is the one that brought it up. The only reason we know there's any sort of ex-husband in the picture at all is because they brought it up. The only reason we know about the whole middle last name thing is because they brought it up. Nobody's bringing this stuff out of nowhere. But could some stuff be taken out of context? Sure. But it's good for Ian Machado Gary and his wife to bring context to it so people do understand instead of getting all mad about it. But now Dylan Dennis is on it and... Dylan Dennis is usually another one of the laughing stocks of the MMA world, but whenever he comes up with anything regarding relationships of other people, he's the go-to. Because it turns out, according to him, Ian Machado Gary's wife slid in his DMs in 2018. Now, to be fair, she was single because her and Ian Machado Gary got married in 2022, but this is also to know that Ian Machado Gary at that time in 2018 was not a known figure whatsoever. In 2022, he was building himself up and some people saw promise in him. So that's the point where they did get married. Yo, the whole situation is something else, man. And I can only imagine what else Dylan Dennis is going to bring up between these two. But you might ask, why do people care, right? Why do people care about Ian Machado Gary and his relationship? Well, there's two reasons for it. Number one, this guy was a bit of a bully. And now it seems like karma has hit him back. What he did to Neil Magny, what he did to Jeff Neal, him talking about Jesus the way he did on his friend's Instagram post, who is religious, the guy painted Neil Magny in the worst possible light of what he said with the whole thing about disciplining. And he would not let up. He kept going to it over and over again. And even after the fight with Neil Magny, who a lot of people look at as some respectful fighter, he showed complete disrespect to the veteran. He wore the mugshot of Jeff Neal on his shirt and posted it. His wife is like laughing in the background. He's posing. And under Jeff Neal's mugshot says future. And then under his opponent and friend, Vicente Luque's Instagram post, Vicente Luque is Christian, and he was talking about Jesus on his Instagram post, and Ian Machado Gary commented under it, saying that he's pretty much Jesus, which is a complete mockery of his friend's entire faith. Now, he can go and say these things, right? He can go and try to dish it out, but then when it comes back to him, when people start making jokes about him, when people start bringing things up about him and his wife or whatever it is, if you're going to do that to other people, it's all fair game back at you, and you cannot act in a certain way. You can't get mad, and the guy got all butthurt about it. He got all mad about it. He was threatening Sean Strickland with like defamation and stuff, and Strickland honestly was looking to help the kid. Because they are much different in age, right? Strickland has a lot more life experience. He's a lot wiser. He was trying to help the kid out, man. He's young. He's like 26. He got married at like 24, 25. Very young these days to get married, of course. And he got married to a much older person. So Strickland's just like watching out for the guy. He feels bad for him. And if you know anything about Sean Strickland, he does talk about men's problems. He does talk about how messed up the men in society are today. And he sees someone that he thinks he needs to help. And how Ian Machado Gary repays his help is by threatening him. Instead of saying that, he should be like, I respect you trying to help me, but we're all right. That's how he should have responded to that. Not threatening the guy. And by doing that, people lost even more respect out of Ian Machado Gary because he's a fighter. And people are trying to say, you know, Sean Strickland was going after Ian Machado Gary. I think Chill said this, right? That Strickland was against Ian 
But no, he was actually trying to support him. He was actually trying to back him up. I mean, did you guys know that on MMA On Point, Ian Machado Gary said that one time he was thinking about getting into a fight in the elevator with Hamzat, no good reason why, and his wife was trying to egg him on to do it. And then when he didn't do it, because both their wives were there, his wife started to make fun of him for not doing it. Wait, what? I hope it's a joke, dude. I hope that's just a joke. Because if his wife wanted him to actually get in, do you know what Hamza would have done to him? She would have lost another husband. You know, in Islam, you can have two wives. So Hamza gets another one right there and then. I'm just kidding. But like, Strickland's not trying to be against Ian Machado Gary. Even if his delivery in his place may be somewhat strange to Ian, he was trying to help him from his perspective. So that was the first reason why people care about this whole thing with Ian Machado Gary. The second thing is, he wants to become a superstar. Ian Machado Gary has portrayed himself to be some kind of star, and he wants to just keep excelling until he's the biggest star in the world. He looked up to Conor McGregor, he talks in a certain way, he has a personality, he has an interesting fighting style. But to become a superstar, you gotta be able to take stuff like this. The stuff said about him is not like super serious. Nobody's saying he's like touching underage people or he offed somebody or he's a graper, you know what I'm saying? Nobody's saying serious stuff about him that would warrant him acting the way he is right now. People are talking about his relationships and with him acting the way he did with previous fighters, this is on a similar level. People are only talking about him in a similar level how he talked to other fighters and he goes and threatens Sean Strickland. He's acting all butthurt about it. Conor McGregor would never act in this way. A lot of stuff has been said about Conor McGregor, the guy he looked up to. And Conor would never respond in this way. Now, Conor, of course, did much worse stuff in his life. But at least he doesn't take this path the way Ian Machado Gary is. Even when Conor McGregor was younger. I've never seen a fighter want to become a star so badly, but is so unprepared for it. But is so not ready to become one. Bro, if he becomes a star, it's only going to get worse. This comes with every single superstar in the sport. Conor McGregor, John Jones, Habib, Anderson Silva, GSP. Stuff has been said about all of these superstars. It comes with the territory. The bigger you become, the more positivity is going to come your way. But along that, the more hate, people are going to make fun of you more. This is just what it is. As long as it's not serious stuff, people are saying, the other stuff just comes with the territory. I mean, it looks like at this point, the only champion he's going to be of is that chair in the corner of the room. I'm just kidding, man. Yo, my advice to Ian Machado Gary is, honestly, at this point, he's got to play it up more. He's got to accept this whole image because fighters are only going to bring it up more and more. His future opponents, especially the ones with personalities, are definitely going to bring this stuff up in the future. Colby's going to bring it up in the press conference. Leon might say a couple lines about it. Strickland's going to bring this up in another press conference or interview. If he goes up to middleweight, people are going to bring that up over there too. At this point, he's got to kind of accept the role. You know what I'm saying? I'm not talking about the chair. I'm saying he's got it. I'm just kidding. Just like accept the role that people see him in. Or if he wants to prove them wrong, you know, he could just say, this is not true. That's not true. That's it. I'm just kidding, man. Just jokes, right? His wife did that. His wife came out on Instagram and said, ex-husband never lived with us. The book satire, you know, some of this stuff is taken out of context. Not that people are lying blatantly. Nobody's lying blatantly. Could it be that some people are taking stuff out of context? Possibly. But then it's up to you to bring up the context. You know what I'm saying? If people don't understand the context, then you should tell them, you know, ex-husband never lived with us. The book is satire. You know, it brings more context to what people are talking about. 